Nike released its first Colin Kaepernick ad today. Kaepernick, you may have read, is the bravest man in America, the bravest man in American history, braver than anyone who has flown fighter jets or fought wars uh, or even nursed a sick child. He's a very brave man. The question is, was that a wise business decision for Nike? Not everybody agrees with it. Dave Portnoy is well positioned to answer that question. He's the founder of a very successful business. He's revered by many people, especially in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, where he's known as El Presidente. Barstool Sports founder Dave Portnoy joins us now. Was that smart, Dave, do you think? By Nike? Uh, I do. I, I think it'll pay off. Uh, I would buy shares in Nike. I think it was very smart. So how can that be? So you've got a company that lots of people like, regardless of politics. You take a position in one of the most polarizing political questions of the moment. Why don't you automatically alienate half your, half your customers? So I think Nike, I think when you're a huge company like Nike, it's hard to stay edgy. It's hard to stay on top for that long. This brings edge to them. I think the old Nike that a lot of people know uh, is not really the Nike that it is. Like you see pictures of the big and rich guy burning his Nike socks that looked like they weren't washed and was a pair of socks from the 1980s. They're a sneakerhead company. They're a cutting edge hip urban company. If you go into the Nike stores, that's what they're selling. I think they know they're de like these shoes. I just think they're moving, and they know their demo, and they will react to this. So I'm not saying I agree with. Really no, no, I get it. I get it. But, but can I just ask you a sort of a macro question? So if you're selling shoes that cost hundreds of dollars to some of the poorest people in America, how are you helping the cause of civil rights? Well, I don't think they care about civil rights. I think they care. I, I think they care <laughs> no. about selling shoes. I, yeah. I mean, and, and if I'm a shareholder, I, I don't care about anything but me putting money in. This is a business decision. Anybody who's saying Nike cares about civil rights or doing the right thing, you can argue that. That's not what I'm arguing. I'm saying as a shareholder, I like the move. Everyone's talking about it. I think it makes them relevant. It makes a brand reinvigorate that's been on, you know, around forever. It's hard to always be the brand that people are talking about when you been around for 50 years. So for me, as a shareholder, I love it. I'm not talking civil rights. That's a whole different discussion. Right. But this is a pure business decision. So you think they're going to gain more from people who are fighting the power with millionaire Colin Kaepernick than they will lose from people like me who are like, I'm New Balance from here out. Yeah. And I'd like to see the pair of Nikes you wore because I bet they're not that trendy. Are you a sneakerhead? Like, I, I don't see you when they're doing their boardrooms and I, oh, we're going to lose Tucker Carlson. I don't think that was going through their minds. <laughs> no. uh, I you was, know. no, I'm wearing the same New Balance I was issued in high school in 1985. Same made in Norway, Maine. Great shoes. Yeah, but never I bet. Nikes. And that's yeah. probably what they're looking at. Even if you look at all the protests, the gear of Nike that people are putting up burning, it's like, oh, well, that's why they did it. They haven't bought new Nikes in the last decade. No, you're right. You see, I knew a business guy would understand this business issue. Dave Portnoy from Barstool Sports, best site on the Internet. Thank you. Thank you.